Hey everybody, this is Dawn from South Paw Bushcraft. Um, I haven't done my loadout video, so I thought I would do this. This is a combination video. It's also for Ranger Cookie. He um, wanted me to do an invasion video. Um, this is kind of my version of that, simply because uh, I have no intentions on doing a full bug out like he you know like he's talking about where you take off somewhere and and have to walk or hike 50 miles or 20 miles or 10 miles I'm going by car if I have if I I have no intentions on leaving unless I absolutely have to and if I have to um then I will go by vehicle and if I have to get out and walk I will be taking the pack that's here on the bed and um, I'll be coming up to this area where I am right now and I will be using this tent and everything that will be in my truck so that's why um, I thought I would just go ahead and just show you what's in my pack uh, so I already got the tent and everything here but if I need to stop along the way and leave my vehicle I have this pack and um, I can carry it. I think last time I weighed it, it's pretty heavy. It's about 35 pounds. Um, I can carry it. I put it on. I've walked around. I've hiked with it. Um, yeah, I'd have to stop along the way and rest because I have a bad back and I have bad knees. Um, but I can carry it and obviously I would do it and, you know, get as far as I can get and rest until I got up here so as you saw in my previous video this tent I can set it up like a cabin I have a friend I have friends in the area that have um, the ability to store stuff for me I'd already have uh, said that they would um, in fact a friend of mine is going to turn this tent into a hot tent for me they have a small stove for it and they're going to be putting in the piece to um, be able to put a stove jack in it. So this is going to be upgraded and reinforced and then upgraded into a hot tent so that I have the ability that if it happens in winter, I'm all set. So that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and look and see what's in the pack. Hold on, let me get stuff laid out here. Trying to figure out how to do this without getting in the way of the camera. Okay, the camo bag right there. That is my electronics bag. It has all my external batteries and charger kits and all that stuff. Um, so that's all that. That's all that is. Let me get to the bag here. This pack. Don't ask me what it is. It's a generic pack. Um, has the bottom section. With, it has all these straps so you can put your sleeping bag or tarps or whatever for your shelter on the bottom. Um, I have my sleeping bag, that um, Coleman 20 degree bag that goes on the bottom here. That's what I put on the bottom. Um, I have my hammock set up with a tarp inside. So... So I put a bunch of gear stuff, miscellaneous items in the bottom section. Uh, it's got two pouches on on the outside, on both sides here. Let me stand it up so you can see it. One side has my cook set, the other side I can't remember, I'll have to look. And then on top here, um, I have... What is this stuff? Oh. All right, let's just go through it. Um, I have a big giant carabiner on the front and a glow-in-the-dark uh, paracord bracelet, a regular paracord bracelet that Phyllis Mulkey made for me. And I actually use this one, the glow-in-the-dark one, all the time. Um, when I have my gun in the tent, I put this around it at night so I know where it is. So if I get up half asleep and have to grab my gun, I know where it is. Works great. Um, so this one pouch on top is normally where my wallet, 
uh, my keys and all that kind of stuff goes. When I get my pistol, it'll go in there too. And probably until I just have uh, garbage bags, extra bags, some ibuprofen, some fire starters, a lighter. That's all that's in there right now. It's just kind of a miscellaneous pouch. Actually, there's going to be a ferro rod in there, too. Um, the back pouch, there's another pouch behind that. has my work gloves. Oh man, this is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. This is my map pouch. Um, i try and do this without showing you guys all the world here has map of this whole area up here so I can't show it to you um, it's in a waterproof zip uh, velcro shut tight with a flap and it's got pens and pencils in it um, military surplus it's really cool and I want to show it to you but I can't it's just got maps in the whole layout and parcel of the land here so I can't show you but um, I put all the topographical maps not just for this land but for 20 miles around here and then I also have maps in there that I printed out topographical maps of a 50 mile radius so I have my Cree light ultra fire light this is an awesome flashlight by the way um, I have that in here life straw headlamp and my rain cover so that's what's in there. Man, I'm going to have a mess to clean up. Okay, side pocket. I have my small, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah. My small um, Stanley Cook set and the gas for my, uh, my little penny gas stove. Or not penny gas stove, but, you know, the little, I'll show you. This one. The little cheap old gas stove which I've had for two years now I paid four bucks for it and uh, it works great guys um, so I have that in here um, the Gerber multi-tool that Josh gave me from frog tax gear sanctuary repel 100% deet mosquito spray my binoculars and my compass. So this this pocket is basically stuff I want to get at right now. You know, stuff that I want to utilize or re, you know things that I want to just be able to get at when I need to on the outside. So that's what's in that pocket. And I'm assuming that's probably what's over here too. Yeah, same thing here. Bank line. Uh, my Gerber Big Rock, my Baco Laplander, pocket chainsaw. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you probably have seen these. Has the handles on e either side, and it's a, basically a chainsaw. I've cut down three, three good-sized trees out here last year with this thing. Get a heck of a workout too, let me tell you. But it works. It really does. And if it's all you got, because your other tools break, this is, you know, th that's what I got it for. It's just for when everything else fails or everything else breaks. And it, it doesn't really weigh anything. So, it's great to have in your kit. So I have it. Um, my Gerber Big Rock is a backup. My little shovel that, you know, we all have and what it's for. I mean, it's for a lot of things, but then I have this giant spool of string. This is really, it's nylon, but you know, it's made up of three strands and it is really super heavy duty. My mom gave it to me. I don't know where she got it, but it is heavy duty stuff. And look at, there is a crap load of it there. So this can be great for all kinds of stuff. So that's all the stuff that's in this side pocket here. All right, 
get into the meat of the kit or the meat of the bag. This, you know, is really nice because it cinches up on top and helps keep everything dry and clean. It's, uh, oh, by the way, it's a, you know, nice aluminum framed pack. Um, got my SAS Survival Handbook. TP, of course. Um, oh, I just got this. Actually, I've had it, but I just found it in one of my kits. The GSI Ultralight Java Drip. Hey, you know, gotta have my coffee. And if I don't have the ability to carry a big coffee pot, at least I can use this. My Wild Edibles book. Like I said, I always have it with me. And then I have uh, my big um, Stanley Cook set. Jesse has hers. I have mine also. And then this is my how I my hammock is in here with all the all the straps to hang it and uh, um, the straps for uh, the guideline. I mean the ridge line. And then I have a tarp for it. And I just have bungee straps around it. And I put duct tape around the little hook so it doesn't rip the tarp. And this is a mega first aid kit. Um, because if this is your, you know, your bug out bag or your major, you never know when you're going to be able to get back type bag. There's trauma stuff in here. There's long term survival stuff in here so that's why it's so big so this is the mother the mother load first aid kit this is the my um hygiene kit it's all you know hygiene kit stuff my little portable grill My hammock chair from Jeep. I'm going to be cutting the poles for this. Jesse has one too. I'm going to be cutting the poles hopefully this weekend and putting up so we can put our chairs up. Um, he was, he's such a great guy. You guys, if you don't, if you don't know him, please go to the, uh, the Econo Challenge um, YouTube channel and check out his channel. He is such a great guy. <laughs> he cracks me up. So, um, I mean, I've actually talked quite a bit, so, uh, he makes these, makes these, and go over and check him out. Now, this little bag, let me just show you. This is my bag simply for if I, if something happens and there's no electricity, and you have no way to recharge your cell phone, your external batteries wear out, and you got nothing. All your flashlights and everything are dead because there's no more batteries. Well, this is my solar power or alternate power bag. Crank flashlight. This thing, I gave one away in my last giveaway. You crank it one minute and it lasts two hours. It's got three very bright LED lights in it. It works very well. I'm going to do a review in a separate video for this thing. This is the Waka Waka light. I am telling you, this is the best thing out there that I know of, for me anyway. I've had this now for four year, or three or four years. So I'm ready to do a review on it. So stay tuned for that. And the ambient weather radio. As you can see, it's flashing alert. Because we had some bad storms and I never cleared it. But anyway, um, I'm also going to be doing a review on this. Because uh, I got some stuff to say about this. So, this is solar charged and crank so that's that so I have you know can listen to music charge my phone with this 
Um, it has a flashlight and it has the weather radio. They say, yeah, you can charge your phone or your tablet or anything on this, um, as well as its regular purposes. Leave it out in the sun all day and then it, it uh, can get fully charged up. So I got my weather alerts. I always have that, you know, with this. And I always have this light. I have this light. You know, redundancy. But I always have those items that will always work. So that's it, guys. So I have my my containers. Oh, I also have another bag in there that's all cordage. Um, I'm not going to dig it out. Oh, I got to get into all this stuff at the bottom yet. I forgot the whole bottom section. This all down here is all the miscellaneous stuff. Just keep all my tools sharp. Oh, I made a, a strop too. It's outside. I use the Lansky puck and the Lansky honing oil. I got my Opinel in there, number eight. My two Mora knives. I got a bunch of extra batteries. Ooh, crap. This is my other little high-tech neck knife. Oops, high-tech neck knife. Oops. My, this is my fishing kit. It's got a bunch of lures, night crawler harnesses with blades on them, you know, so you can get a big fish and little fish. Tons of hooks and sinkers. Um, this is yo yo reels, more hooks and sinkers, some leaders. One of them fell out. Bobbers, all kinds of stuff. Another headlamp. This is my uh, military water filter kit um, and a chamois. You know what the chamois is for. You can collect water with it. Clean up water, wipe up water. You know what their uses are. There's a million of them. Um, so this is a soldier water filter kit, um, you know, floats in the water, pump it, filters it into another container. And I have an extra filter for it. I think it filters something like 150,000 gallons or 150,000 gallons or something like that. If you clean your filter and uh, use it properly and then I have an extra filter and an extra hose for it. More cordage, more cordage. Um, this I found out at the sh when I was at the shop. It's metallic trolling line, extra strong, extra pliable. Um, what is it? Six hundred feet. Now. That's going to be for snares. I would say that's going to last a good long time. And obviously it's not going to be for large game. It's going to be for small game. But that is 600 feet of snare line and it doesn't weigh very much at all. So I threw it in here. Monkey fist. Spoon knife. Made a nice little sheath for it. Oops. Bandana, fat wood. Got a couple more bandanas in here too. And that's it for now. So, basically, um, I have other, I have a bunch of other stuff in the truck too. 
you know, I have uh, more tarps. I mean, stuff that stays in my truck all the time. I have my scout kit that stays in the truck all the time. I have a day pack in there. Um, you know, so this this bag, I have the scout bag is a big sling bag. So I could all throw that on as well. Um, this would have, um, this would also have a hydration bag with it that would hold two and a half liters of water. Um, I would also have my food bag. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff that goes with it. If I, like I said, if I had to leave my vehicle, the hydration bag would would have the water and the food bag with it. So, um, but otherwise, in my vehicle, there's tons of stuff, tons of stuff that stays in there all the time. Um, I'm always prepared. And on top of everything that you see here, I also have um, a it's either 18 or 24 inch buck saw blade from Baco. And I'm in the process of making a takedown buck saw. Um, so that's going to strap on the side of this as well. And um, I also have my hatchet. And then I have that tomahawk. So the hatchet would go on here and the tomahawk I would probably carry. So there you I have it, Ranger Kuki and everybody else who wanted to see my loadout. Um, this is, I brought this up um, to use a bunch of this stuff. And I use... Uh, a lot of this stuff on a regular basis so I have tested it tried and true I don't just throw it in the bag and haul it around you could see that a lot of this stuff has been has been used I mean um, everything all of it has been used many 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 times uh, that's why it's in here because I know it works the only thing that hasn't been used is that chair that I got from Jeep that and I'm gonna put that up hopefully this weekend um, so now that this video is 20 minutes long I'm gonna cut it off take care everybody hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think bye bye